Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am starting and filming such an exciting video today. I've been planning this for a couple of months, but I've been putting it off until I'm on work holidays. And as you can tell by the title, that is swapping my screen time for reading for a week. So if you don't know me, I am a teacher's aide, so I work in a primary school, but because it's school holidays right now, it means that I'm also on school holidays. So I have the next two weeks off work, which I'm so, so, so excited about. And I feel like this is the perfect time to film this video. I've been wanting to do this for a really, really long time because I am really, really bad with my screen time. I feel like I'm constantly on my phone when I could be doing other things like reading and I've just been really really bad lately. So last week when I was at work my screen time was a lot lower than usual anyway but I'm going to quickly tell you guys what my average screen time was. So I forgot to say it is Monday today so my screen time for last week on average was four hours and 45 minutes. I knew what my most used app would be which is TikTok. I feel like I spend so much time on there but I'm also very very active over on my TikTok so if you don't follow me on there make sure you go and do that because I post a video almost every single day over there but I spent almost 10 hours on TikTok in the whole of last week. Now I can knock off a couple of hours and say that I was editing those TikToks that I was posting but the rest of it was just me mindlessly scrolling which is really really bad. It's a really bad habit that I get into and I just feel like TikTok takes up a lot of my time as shown by the screen time. The next app was Instagram with 4 hours and 38 minutes. Then Messages with 2 hours and 48 minutes. YouTube with 2 hours. Like it's all kind of just lower from there. So yeah for this week I'm going to be trying to knock some books off my physical TBR because I'm going to be putting more time aside to read these books. I feel like I'll get a few of them done. Hopefully I succeed every single day because some of the days in this week are quite high and I don't know how I'm going to read for how many hours I was on my phone for. But for a day like today it's very very achievable because I had three hours and 13 minutes last Monday. I kind of have like a few books on my radar at the moment but I'm not entirely sure what I want to read. That being said I did start reading a thriller last night. I've DNF two thrillers in a row so I'm really really hoping that this one does it for me. So last night I started reading His and Hers by Alice Feeney. I've heard some really really great things about this and it's also on Kindle Unlimited so I was reading it on my Kindle last night which is just even better. It makes it even easier to read. I only read like two chapters so I'm literally like 5% into this book but I can already tell that I think it's going to be a lot better than the other two thrillers that I tried to pick up. I also feel like it'll just be really really quick and easy to get into. I feel like I will finish this today if I read for three hours like I feel like that's very achievable. I only like dilemma with this is say that I read for three hours and 13 minutes and then I literally have like 50 pages to go I'm not going to want to stop reading if I'm like towards the end of the book and then I'm going to read for extra time on top of the screen time but I feel like that's okay as long as I get the screen time done so I feel like I might end up reading a little bit extra each day as well depending on how into the book I am if that makes any sense pretty much each day I'm just going to set a timer on my phone and then keep pausing and unpausing it when I'm not reading and hopefully that makes it more achievable because I'll be seeing the time go down and everything like that. But yeah, I think that is everything that I needed to say for the intro of this video. I might start reading for a little bit now, but I don't think I will be reading for too long. So what I've gathered about this so far is that we are following two different people. So obviously it's called his and hers. So in the her point of view, it is a news reporter. And then in the his point of view, he is like a policeman and he is investigating a murder that took place. And he said he's never had a murder like this before because I knew this woman well. I was with her last night. So someone that he was with the night before showed up murdered the next day. I'm really, really intrigued about this book. I'm very, I can tell that I'm going to really like this and I can tell it's gonna like really get me with a twist but I'm just like really really excited to keep reading Hey guys, it is much, much later in the day because I have been cleaning, I've filmed a video, I've edited a video, like I've just done a lot of things today. And so I've only just gotten the time to sit down and read again right now and it's like 7 p.m. I have one hour and 52 minutes left on the timer, so I have almost two hours left and I've made quite a lot of progress in the book. I'm reading it a lot quicker than I thought I would. It is very, very fast paced and I'm really, really loving it. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what is even going on and I'm so excited to get to the end and see how it all ends because I have no, I've got no predictions whatsoever. I am up to page 150, so I'm like almost halfway through. I think I'm 42% through. I feel like 
I may finish it within the two hours, but I feel like I might be left with like 10 or 15 minutes after the timer. But I'll definitely be finishing it today because I cannot not finish this. Like I need to know what's going to happen in this book. I need to know how it all ends. And there's no way I'm waiting until tomorrow. That is my little update for now. I am about to go have a shower, get in my PJs and just relax for the night. And then I'm going to continue reading and finish this book because I am so excited to see what happens. Okay, it is absolutely bucketing down outside right now. It has been pouring all day which has been the perfect reading weather but it's kind of getting frustrating at this point because it's actually really really loud but anyway I finished reading his and hers by Alice Feeney that ending was absolutely shocking like I was sitting there with my jaw dropped for like the last 15 minutes of the book like I was literally so confused it literally gave me whiplash like the amount of twists at the end and then I'll give you this 4.5 stars I was not expecting to give it such a high rating I was thinking like four stars the whole book but because of the ending and the way it all came together it definitely bumped up my rating quite a bit it bumped it up half a star which is amazing so yes I did finish reading this now and I actually have 19 minutes left on the timer and I was kind of sitting in here before when I was not reading and I was trying to think of what book I wanted to start next and I wasn't really sure what I was in the mood for but then I saw this book sitting on my floor and I was like I need to read this so I'm going to start reading Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo little backstory I have not read or watched Shadow and Bone I'm going into this with like no prior knowledge of this world and everything like that but if I'm not understanding a little bit into it I'm just going to soft DNF and then I'm just gonna have to read the Shadow and Bone series but I'm just like really hoping that I will go into it and understand everything as I'm reading. I actually sent this to one of my online friends Anna and she heavily annotated this for me so I sent her my copy and she sent it back to me annotated so that just makes me all the more excited to read this. I think she has done a tab for all of the main characters which I'm just so excited about. I'm so excited to get into this and I feel like that is gonna connect me to the story even more and she's also annotated Crooked Kingdom for me which is down there so once I finish this if I want to go into Crooked Kingdom straight away that is ready for me as well. I'm not going to give any more updates today because I feel like 20 minutes is not going to have that big of an update because so I'm going to like really really take my time reading this and kind of like try to take in every single word I'm reading but yeah that's the little update for now so I'm going to read for 20 minutes and I will be back tomorrow. Okay guys it is now Tuesday I just got home I spent the day with my mum today and it is now 3 14 p.m. so I'm starting the reading a little bit late today but I've only got like just over three hours to read again today so I feel like it's still very very easy for me to get that done. I just got home to three packages and I wanted to show you guys because I just cannot resist. Like I cannot believe that this is my life. So I finally got a fairy loot subscription. So if you don't want to see the March YA book, do not watch like the next minute because I'll just quickly show it. But I got it and it is gorgeous. It is A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Faisal. I probably said that incorrectly. But look at the edges like with the little tea. That is, that is so adorable. And then like underneath the dust jacket is such a beautiful pink. Like, I'm so excited to get more, like, special editions in my collection. So, yes, I got home to this and then the little items that it came with and everything like that. Which, my favourite item has to be this book sleeve. Like, you can put your Kindle in here and then a book in here and it protects it. And I love that. I'm obsessed. I also got an early copy of Taming 7 by Chloe Walsh, which is the fifth book in the Boys of Tolman series. When I tell you guys I'm going to read this, like, as soon as possible, I might even read it this week. After I finish Six of Crows, I think I will be picking this up because I cannot resist. I was going to save it for a another video like reading some of my most anticipated releases but there's still a few more releases in April that I can include in that video because this needs to be read as soon as possible. Then, the last package I got, I got sent Colleen Hoover's collaboration with Olive and June, which is like the nail polishes that she released, which is so cool. I was definitely in need of, of some new like nail polishes and nail supplies and stuff, so I'm very, very excited to use these and see how these are. Anyway, my screen time for last Tuesday was three hours and 15 minutes, so that is how long I will be reading for today. I will be continuing with Six of Crows. I only read one chapter last night, and I honestly don't have any thoughts about it so far, just because the first chapter is kind of like really weird, and then I think it gets into the story more. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated more later when I have more thoughts about it. But right now I don't have any thoughts. But yeah, I'm just going to start reading for today because I do have quite a long time to read. And yeah, that is my little update for now. Hey guys, it is 11.50.
p.m. and I've just finished my timer for the day when I tell you this last hour has been the biggest struggle of my life I don't think I've ever read more slow than I just read in the past hour because I'm just so tired and I just want to go to sleep I definitely need to work on not leaving this time to read until the very very last second before going to bed because it's just such a struggle to try to keep myself awake but let me just see what percentage through the book I am on Goodreads I just need to update my progress so I'm up to page 270 which is 59% through according to Goodreads and I have just finished part four anyway I feel like I don't have any opinions about this book and that is so weird for me because normally I'm very very opinionated when it comes to books and I normally have a lot of things to say but with this for some reason I just don't really at all I don't really have any opinions about anything in this book the only thing that I can say is that I'm really enjoying the friendship between Nina and Inej if I'm saying that correctly like I really like their friendship I'm liking like some of the little like romantic relationships as well but like that's not a very important part of the book or anything like that I'm really really enjoying the found family aspect I love found family in a book so I'm really really loving that anyway I will be finishing this tomorrow quite easily I think it'll probably take me like two hours tomorrow to finish it I believe that my timer tomorrow is like four hours like just above four hours so more time than today and I also have a very busy day tomorrow so I don't know when I'm gonna get the time but I will make the time to read and of course I will update you guys tomorrow hey guys it is now Wednesday and it is 4 p.m. I know I gave you guys an update last night but pretty much we had a really really busy day today we both got our cars serviced by my dad because he's like a car mechanic and I also had a doctor's appointment which I'm gonna rant about because I just have to rant to someone pretty much I'm anaphylactic which means I am severely allergic to nuts and sesame seeds and it is extremely bad if you know what anaphylaxis is you will know how bad it is like it's life-threatening I went in there to get like an action plan which is pretty much just saying to other people what to do if I was to have a food that I'm not supposed to have and I went in there to get one so I could give it to my workplace because they asked me for one and they wanted an extra EpiPen which is the medication the doctor literally laughed at me and said how she'd never written one for an adult before I was like oh yeah well I work in a school like they just take it seriously and they want one and she was like oh so they're treating you like a child and I just felt like saying no, like they're treating me like anyone should treat me because it's a life-threatening condition. What do you mean? And then I also got a script to get a new EpiPen because I have two and I carry two with me at all times, but I wanted to get a third to give to my work. They're $30 by the way, which is cheaper than buying them over the counter without a script, but still it's $30. Anyway, they normally expire after like a year. So you have to like get new ones every year. He hands me one, like the pharmacist, and it expires in September. And I was like, that expires way too soon. Like I normally get ones that expire after like a year. And he was like, oh, it just depends on the stock that we have. This is all we have. And I was like, okay, well I just won't buy it today because I'm not gonna buy a new one in September. Like we're already in April. And then he magically pulled one out that's for July next year. So I ended up getting one that's extended, which is what they should have given me in the first place. But yeah, the healthcare system in Australia, everyone thinks it's amazing. They also going to charge me for the doctor's appointment to literally print out a piece of paper it is just ridiculous like why is the medical system so bad like I know it's really really bad in other countries as well but it's just getting a hundred times worse in Australia and doctors just do not take you seriously and they think everything's some big joke and they also just google things I just had to rant because I'm just so I just needed to rant to someone and it's been playing on my mind all day since it happened I could be being dramatic but anyway it is 4 p.m. on the dot and I am gonna start reading so for last Wednesday I had four hours and 12 minutes so that's how long I'll be reading for today I'm definitely gonna finish this I'm definitely gonna finish six of crows I have probably about 200 pages left of it so I should finish that in two maybe three of the hours and then I'm gonna start taming seven by Chloe Walsh my camera is about to die so that is my only update for now Okay guys, please ignore the absolute mess in the background. My library is just a mess right now because I'm like in the process of reorganizing it and I'm hoping to get a new bookshelf tomorrow or in the next few days. So I'm kind of like reorganizing things. I also got this like 
it's like an old toy box that has like a cushion top and I'm making that into like a little reading corner so yeah it's a bit of a mess in here today. I finished reading Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo and I decided to give it four stars. As I was updating I didn't really have much to update on but the last like 100, 150 pages I absolutely loved like I could not put it down. I really feel like I started to enjoy the characters more, I started to like really really get to know them and feel like I actually knew them. I just felt so much more connected to them, I was worried about what was going to happen and it was just very very intense and drama filled at the end. I am very very excited to go into Crooked Kingdom. I will wait a few days because I don't know if I'm going to start it this week or if I'm going to give myself a bit of time. But yeah I did end up giving this four stars. I will talk about it more in my wrap up at the end of the month. But I don't know what I was expecting. I knew that I would like this but like going through it I was kind of like oh I don't know if this is for me and then like the end really solidified it for me. So yeah. That being said I do feel like Crooked Kingdom will be a five star read. Like I'm just predicting that from now. Even though I finished that I still have two hours and three minutes left on the timer for today so I'm only like just over halfway through because that did not take me as long to finish as I thought it would because once I really got into it I started reading a lot quicker and my pacing was faster and everything like that but that just means that I can start reading Taming Seven by Chloe Walsh. I have never been more excited to pick up a book in my life. It's currently 9 30 and I haven't even had a shower or anything so I need to do that and by the time I do that it's going to be like 10 o'clock and so I don't know if I'm going to survive this today because I don't know if I can stay up till 12. I am extremely tired but I feel like my technique may be just like moving around the house to different reading positions when I read like on our bed like in our bedroom I get so tired but I'm hoping that if I like move around sit on the couch sit here like it'll make me feel a bit better <laughs> These are the best Easter chocolates and no one can change my mind. So, as you guys know, I started reading Taming 7 last night by Chloe Walsh. It is now Thursday and we kind of slept in a lot today. We slept in until like 10.30, which is great because I've been so exhausted the past couple of weeks. And I feel very refreshed and energized today. <laughs> I did finish the timer last night. I actually flew through this. I got up to page 207 in two hours, which is just absolutely insane. I read about... 100 pages an hour which is just crazy i did not think i was going to get through this that quickly because the writing is like really really small it's like a 500 page book i could just sit here and binge this whole book at once but obviously i couldn't because i could only read for two hours i believe the timer today is quite higher because i kind of got higher throughout the week so for today on thursday i have four hours and 48 minutes to read i will definitely get this finished today like if i'm reading 100 pages an hour i will probably finish it within three hours i just wanted to give you an update on this. I'm literally obsessed. It's giving me everything I wanted in this book. I feel like I've been waiting for Claire and Gibbsy's story the whole time and I did not realize how much depth it was going to have. I literally cried on page two. Like I'm not even exaggerating. Like this book and this series just brings out every single emotion in me and it's great. Like I have never felt so connected to characters in my life. If you have not read this series, take this as your sign to because I promise you it is so worth it. I don't think I will ever stop talking about this series. Anyway, I think we're doing a little bit of shopping today and I may be going to get my new bookshelf as well. So I'm not going to be reading for a little bit. That is my update for now. I'm so happy with this book and how it's going. It's definitely going to be another six star read. It is now Friday and I have some updates for you all because obviously I did not read yesterday at all. I was supposed to read for four hours and 48 minutes and I did not read one page of my book because yesterday was just not a good day for me and I'm going to explain why I didn't read anything. So pretty much I was supposed to read for four hours and 48 minutes which as I just said I did not read anything. I think I said in the vlog that I was going to get a new bookshelf to add on to my bookshelf so there it is over there. I'm kind of like covering the window a little bit but that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. So I did go to get that yesterday and everything. Everything was all fine but we live an hour away from Ikea so we had to drive an hour to Ikea and then an hour back so it was a two hour drive. I drove there. I am not a good driver when I'm driving in places that I don't know. Like I'm just very very anxious so you can just imagine how it all went down. Maps took me down all of these like windy roads that were really skinny like back roads.
roads that did not take me on main roads. It took me on all these back roads. Oh, it was just not a nice situation. I actually started crying because someone was sitting right behind me. And like, I was like really slowing down around these bends and they were like tailgating me. And then we got to Ikea and it was all fine. We got the shelves, we left. It was very, very quick. And then when we got home, we started building the shelf. Obviously you can see it over there. But with the Billy bookshelves, you can get a height extension unit, which is pretty much like an extra bookshelf. So that top shelf is the height extension unit and you don't have to have it. But obviously I want to have it because it just gives me an extra shelf. Like it gives me so much extra space on my bookshelves. I got that as well. But when we got to taking that out of the box and building it, we realized that we did not get white. We got a brown color. When I tell you that just set me off for the rest of the day, like I was so upset. Like I obviously was very, very sensitive, but I was so upset. I was crying for like a good hour because of that. Cause I knew we'd have to drive an hour there and an hour back, which we have not done yet. After that had happened, I found out my boyfriend's working night shift tonight, so on Friday night, and I hate when he works night shift. Oh, when I'm home alone, I cannot handle it. Like, I feel like every single time I get left home alone overnight, I happen to be filming a vlog. So there's definitely vlogs on my channel that are up, and I feel like when I'm home alone, I'm just not the same person. Like, I'm just always on edge, I'm anxious. Like, if you've watched some of my other vlogs, you can probably tell that through the camera. And then, I was supposed to get a tattoo today, and she cancelled on me because she's sick, which is completely fine. I understand but that just like it just it was like a snowball like everything just kept getting worse for me yesterday and so I didn't end up reading anything and I was like I'm just gonna scrap Thursday completely there's no point me trying to read I'm just gonna start fresh on Friday so that's what I'm doing today so for last Friday I had exactly six hours on my phone so that's how long I will be reading for today I think that's everything I had to say for now hopefully that explains why I didn't read yesterday and I'm just very very excited to start fresh today with a completely new day because yesterday Yesterday was just not a good day. It is now 3.30 p.m. and the timer has begun. it means I can have a girl dinner which means I'm literally just eating corn chips and having a can of coke and I am so extra but I cannot drink a can of coke without a straw it just makes it taste better hours and 43 minutes left on the timer which is still quite a while it is 6 30 p.m currently i am about 180 pages off finishing taming seven so it'll take me probably like an hour and a half to finish with how i'm reading it is just so fast paced like i'm literally reading like two pages a minute which is just insane and then when i was reading six of crows i was barely reading a page a minute so it just goes to show like different books have different pacing but anyway since i'm going to finish this very very soon i'm going to sit and binge the rest of the thing i thought because i have no idea what I want to read next I thought I'm gonna do like a little Instagram poll so I'm gonna pick two books for the poll and then I'm gonna let my Instagram followers choose so a little shameless plug if you're not following my Instagram make sure you go and do so so you don't miss when I do these little things in the future but yeah I know what one of the books is gonna be it's going to be betting on you by Lynn Painter because I have a book club over on fable book clubs pick for April is betting on you so I do need to read this during the month at some point and then I'm thinking a thriller for the other book but I'm not entirely sure which one so I'm gonna have a look at my shelf and see which one I'm in the mood for. I think The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. I've heard some really, really great things about this and I've DNF'd some thrillers recently. So I'm really, really hoping that this is a good one. Obviously I read his and hers at the beginning of this video and really, really liked it. So hopefully this one is a hit as well. Regardless of what the choice is, I will probably end up reading both of these within this video. I'm not entirely sure. I am a mood reader and my mood changes very, very quickly. But yeah, I'm going to put up the little poll and then I will check in with my results after I've finished Taming 7. I honestly don't really mind which way this goes either so I'm happy with either choice whatever it ends up being. I've cried in every single book. So upsetting it happens every single time and we just found out something that I was not expecting at all. It explains so much and it just breaks my heart. This is so bad. Hey 
guys, do I have an update for you all? So you would have seen me start reading Betting on You by Lynn Painter because that is the one that won on my Instagram story. Yeah, I was flying through it and I got to 50% and I literally cannot read that book. It is absolutely awful. I'm sorry if you have loved that book, but I personally absolutely hate it. I'm never normally this passionate when I dislike a book, but there was not one thing that I enjoyed about this book. She tried to make them enemies to lovers in the beginning of the book, but then by like page 50 they were like insta lovey and then i'm pretty sure there was going to be the miscommunication trope as well and i just cannot deal with that there was no positives and then the main male character he got asked to choose like a song at a party and he chose all too well the 10 minute version and then our main female character has like a bookstagram and they were like mentioning social media i just cannot read a 400 page book that is that bad i got up to page 200 i have just over two hours left on my timer anyway i'm really not sure what to do for the next two and a bit hours because I kind of don't really want to start another book. I'm getting really really tired and I just don't think that I can physically stay awake. So I'm actually currently listening to A Court of Silver Flames as an audiobook and I'm only like really at the beginning of it like I haven't really listened to much of it but I'm thinking to use the last two hours today to listen to an audiobook because I said to myself that if I can't physically read a book I will listen to an audiobook and that will count. Currently when I last paused the audiobook I was halfway through chapter 10 so we'll see what chapter I end up getting to but I'm gonna try to like do other things while I'm listening to it because as I said I am really really tired but yeah hopefully I enjoy this a lot more than that book because that was like really disappointing and then tomorrow I can start fresh with a completely new book because I just have to act like that did not happen So last night I did end up finishing the two hours of the timer so I ended up listening to about six chapters and the chapters are quite long so that doesn't sound like much but it actually was a lot. So yeah in the physical book I'm up to page 196 and honestly not much has really happened in this book but I also feel like every single book in this series not much happens until the very end but I am a Nesta girl like I love Nesta with everything so I love getting her point of view and seeing her with her love interest as well. Anyway, the time of the last Saturday was the longest in the whole week, so it is 6 hours and 43 minutes, which is a lot. I did really really struggle with those last couple of hours yesterday, and I can definitely see myself listening to an audiobook again today, but I'm gonna try to read majority as a physical copy. It really just depends how tired I get, but I had quite a good sleep last night, even though I was home by myself for half the night, so that's good at least. I do feel like reading a thriller, so I am gonna pick up The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. Obviously, betting on you last night was just not the result Result that I wanted so now I'm just gonna read this book like I said I probably would. I actually don't really own many physical copies of thrillers I know there's a lot on like Kindle Unlimited and stuff like that but I honestly couldn't be bothered looking so this is like one of the only options that I have as a physical copy so I am going to start this later today. We are going to go to Ikea very very soon and get the height extension unit swapped thank god I'm so happy that we're gonna get that done today. So definitely look forward to a bookshelf reorganization video because that will be coming very soon as well but yeah that is the update for now. I thought I'd give an update now but I'm not gonna start reading reading until later in the day unless I do read in the car a little bit. But yeah, hopefully this book is not, if it wants to go the right way, hopefully this book is not terrible like the other one. It is quite a lot later in the day. We've come back, we've got the bookshelf and everything like that. It is currently 5.15 p.m. So it's very, very late in the day and I'm just leaving it to the last minute again. So I feel like today may not be successful, but I'm gonna do my best. I in fact did not do my best, but okay. I have read slash listened quite a bit this morning. So I've read up to page 112 of The Paris Apartment. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I just think that it's taking a while to actually get into the story. But pretty much following all of these different people who live in the same apartment block and in one of the apartments there is a man and he is currently missing and his sister has come to the apartment block to come and look for him and we're getting the point of views of every single other person living in the apartment so it's kind of a little bit confusing but I also really really like getting the point of views of everyone I feel like there's going to be a massive twist at the end of this I have no idea where it's going to go and that's kind of like what I really really like about it but yeah it is a little bit boring right now just because I feel like it's taking a long time to actually get into the story as well as reading some of that I 
listened to an audiobook for about 15 or 20 minutes. I just listened to A Court of Silver Flames again. So I believe I finished another two chapters of that. But yeah, I don't know if I said I've still got five hours and 20 minutes left for today. So I really, really don't know if I'm going to get this done today. My dad is also coming over to like mount my bookshelves to the wall so they don't tip or anything like that. And yeah, I just feel like I'm not going to have enough time. And depending on if I get tired and stuff. It is now Sunday. I failed the timer miserably yesterday. I ended up having four hours left. So I literally read for like two and a half hours yesterday out of the almost seven hours. And I'm really disappointed in myself. I've got no excuse. The only excuse is that I just did not feel like reading at all. I feel like the Paris apartment just didn't hook me enough to want to keep reading yesterday. And so I just wasn't in the mood to read. I was just very, very distracted by other things. My dad came over to do the shelves and everything, as you can see in the background. Just wasn't the best time for me to read for some reason. So that is the second day that I've failed out of the week. However, today is the last day because it is Sunday and I'm going to pass today because today we have five hours and eight minutes so I feel like that is much more achievable. I'm actually about to film my bookshelf reorganization video which will be up very very soon. It will be the next video that comes up after this one and so I'm gonna have a couple of hours that I can listen to an audiobook while I'm doing that. I am gonna include that and then I'm going to finish this book off later today because I feel like I will definitely finish it once I sit down and actually hopefully get into it more. It is really good, don't get me wrong, it's just taking a while for me to actually get into it and get hooked. Yes, that is my update for now. I cannot believe I failed again. I was going to give another update last night, but I was like, no, I'm so disappointed in myself. Like, I tried to listen to more of like my audiobook and everything yesterday, but I was just way too tired because it ended up being like 12 o'clock when I actually sat down and could have read and I still had like five hours left. So yeah, I ended up listening to like 45 minutes of my audiobook and then I just went to sleep because I was too tired. Anyway, as a little update, I'm up to the start of chapter 23 of my audiobook. So we'll see where I get up to after I'm finished the bookshelves and everything. I feel like this week and this video started off so well, like it started off so strong. And then throughout the week, I've been getting into more and more of a slump, as much as I hate to say it. Okay, update on my reading. I've been organizing my bookshelves for almost two hours. And out of those two hours, I think I have been listening to about an hour and a half. So I actually stopped on three hours, 33 minutes and 33 seconds, which I feel like is a great sign from the universe. I love that. It will probably take me another hour to finish my bookshelves. So I'll be listening to it for about another hour. I'm going to check how far along I actually am. So I feel like I've made a lot of progress. I'm listening to it on quite a fast speed as well. It's like on 2.25 or something. I feel like I'm going to be quite far. Okay, so I'm like almost 50% of the way through. I feel like I will finish listening to this this week. It is a like really, really long one. Like it's the longest in the series, but I'm starting to enjoy it a lot more. I feel like it's really getting into the story a lot more. And there's like some things happening that I wasn't expecting to happen. But yeah, that is my little update for now. I will update you guys when I finish my bookshelves and give you guys a little overview in this video as well. But yeah, that's all I had to say for now. Guys, so the bookshelves are completely done, but you will see that like more of an overview of that in my bookshelf reorganization video. But pretty much I have been listening to an audiobook all day so I've got just over two hours left at the timer and I'm about to go downstairs I'm going to kind of cook dinner at the same time as reading the Paris apartment so I'm going to use that last two hours to read a physical copy because I feel like I've done a little bit too much audiobook listening today I got to the start of chapter 38 of the audiobook which is quite far into it I'm actually up to page 395 in the physical copy which I feel like is a lot more than I was expecting to listen to but anyway for the rest of this video you're just going to see an overview of what I'm doing while I'm finishing the last two hours so glad that this video is coming to an end to be honest it's been quite difficult these last couple of days this video is also supposed to go up tonight so i'm really really hoping it uploads in time after i'm finished the reading because i have been editing it as i go which is what i normally do when i'm filming a vlog just to make my life a little bit easier when i get to the end of the vlog also guys i got the paris apartment on my kindle to make it a bit easier and quicker for me to read and it's just a lot more comfortable to read on my kindle so yeah i forgot to say that before My goodness.
Okay guys, so I finished the timer and I also read for like an extra 10 or 15 minutes so I could finally get this book finished. And I did in fact get it finished and I definitely have some thoughts about it. So once I talk about this a little bit, I'm going to recap the rest of the books that I read in this video because now we are at the end of this video. So I honestly don't really know what to rate this. I literally just finished it. I'd say probably between like 2.75 and 3 stars. I will solidify that rating by the end of the month in my wrap up video, but I honestly did not really enjoy this book at all. I feel like I still don't actually know what happened at the end of this book. Like, I'm so confused. I feel like nothing really makes sense. It also feels like there's a few plot holes, but I don't know if that's because there actually is or if I'm just not making sense of it. I really, really wanted something to, like, pull me back out of my slump, and now I feel like this just made it worse. I am kind of glad I finished it without DNFing it, but at the same time, it just wasn't that great, in my opinion. I always feel bad when people, like, reply to my Instagram stories when I post that I'm reading a specific book saying how much they loved it, and then, like, like, I end up not liking it. I feel so guilty. But yeah, now that I've finished that, I'm going to recap the other books that I read in this video. I believe this whole week consisted of about 33 hours altogether, but obviously I did skip a couple of hours the days that I did not complete the hours. So I did not finish A Quarter of Silver Flames, but I got halfway through. I wasn't that far into it when I started listening to it in this video. Betting on you, we know I got 50% through and did not finish it, so this was a DNF. Taming Seven by Chloe Walsh. This is like the only book that I absolutely adore in this video. This was a six star read 100% like every other book in this series and I'm so 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 happy that I got an arc of this book. Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. I'm definitely going to read Crooked Kingdom very very soon because I actually quite enjoyed this. Even though it took me a while to get into it, now that I look back into reading this book I realise how much I actually really liked it. And His and Hers by Alice Feeney I gave 4.5 stars. I actually really really liked this and I also really really liked Rock Paper Scissors from her. So I definitely need to read more books from this author. Because it's Sunday and I just finished the time that means that this video is now completed. I had so much fun filming this even though I did fail two out of the seven days I still had so much fun and I feel like it was really really good for me getting to read more books in a week because I do not normally read this many books in a week. Like I know I didn't finish one and I DNF'd one but I still completed four books in a week which sounds like a massive amount because it is a massive amount. All of that being said thank you guys so so much for watching this video. I really really hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know what other vlogs you want to see from me in the comments if there's any that you'd like to see from me. I'm definitely like in my vlogging era at the moment and all I want to do is film vlogs so I am more than happy to film anything that you guys want me to. But as usual with all of that being said thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.